Welcome to Car Rack Gaming. This is your boy Alex Jones <laughs> with his gay frog co host, Brandon Parker. Brandon, how the hell are you? Uh, I mean, it's good to be here. I'm doing great. You've been drinking any of that tap water? Any of that gay bomb? Uh, yeah, all of it. You know that's what tap water is, right? Uh, no. I didn't know that. Uh, uh, guys, I'm. I'm getting, uh,. I'm getting signaled by the producer. I have to step out of the room. <laughs> Bye, Alex. Okay. I'm leaving for real now. Oh, shit. Bye. Oh, I thought he was just going to hide in the corner. Bye. 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 Yeah! Oh. And, and the OG has returned. Or, I, I wasn't not, okay, that. I'm not the OG, but Brandon's... Hi, I'm Zach. Jesus. Did, did Alex Jones do the intro? Uh, yeah, did you tell Welcome him? Welcome to Car Rack Gaming! Welcome to more of this horse shit. Oh, that's a good guy. Oh, Brandon, I missed you. Okay, so what are you guys supposed to do? Captain uh, yeah, it's been uh, too long. William, what are you doing out here alone? The name's Christopher Columbus. <laughs> <laughs> it's me! Benjamin Franklin. <laughs> Why'd I say Christopher Columbus? I was totally thinking Ben Franklin. <laughs> I'm a fucking dumbass. I got you. Uh, I'll take care of you, buddy. Uh, I've known you since you were knee high to my cock wheel. Oh. Ben Franklin was a rebel indeed. He liked to sit naked while he smoked lots of weed. That's right. Uh, man. I thought he was like, did you forget that too? Why don't you go home and fuck off? <laughs> <laughs> go home and jack off. <laughs> uh, Dude, we should, we should workshop some sayings like that, like, Go home and fuck off. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just added steps. Yeah. Why don't you go home, feed your dogs and cats, <laughs> take a shit, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> you know, normal stuff. Why don't you go home, make sweet love to your wife, lay awake at night, unable to sleep, unhappy with your life choices, and fuck off. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Why? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Williams the blacksmith. Now, hey, pal, I'm running a little low on silver, and I could sure use some for uh, uh, blacksmithing. Mm. This is a robbery. Williams, to rid the forest of these infernal creatures. Well, as a matter of fact, you're getting pretty damn warm. Can you help me out? All I have is. I think he's trying to say he's hot. Now, I don't want to be racist, Brandon, but that is a man of color. No, he's just really tan. Are you sure? Yeah, he's not calling him any slurs. He's like, I can't believe you're speaking to me right now. Wow, what a great honor. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Whitey. I guess they could. They can't. They can't put culture. What is it? Um, his, they can't. They can't be historically accurate. I mean, uh, there were... This is Michigan, so this what's, is this is the northern states. Uh, I guess you're right, man. But they let, they even let, then, that, that's not how Abe Lincoln dressed, bro. This, that's true. We are in colonial times. Yeah, it doesn't make sense But I don't me. know that slavery was as big of an uh, issue. I, look, I don't want to make it about... I don't want to make it about slavery, but what was that dude's name from Seinfeld that went on stage and dropped the N-bomb? Uh, Kramer? Yeah, uh, I just William, can't think of his name. Michael Richards? Yeah, Michael Richards. Well, so in colonial Anyways, times, I don't want to make this a Michael Richards a... episode. <laughs> well, no, but slavery wasn't as big of an issue in early colonial times. I don't know why they'd be in Michigan because that time frame, like col colonial, yeah. didn't implies George, that it's didn't the George colonies. Washington, didn't George Washington have slaves though? Yeah, but I don't think it was an economic. You know what I mean? Like the reason that the the, well, the I guess, South I guess, seceded I guess... was because it was a huge economic. Well, I, I I was just gonna say I guess since. Uh... You know, 
early founding of the nation and whatnot. Um, I don't know enough historically about that to tell you how many slaves there were back then. So, anyways, getting a little too serious here, guys. What? What's serious about slavery? We we kick we kick the South's ass, man. Yeah. No, bring it back. <laughs> <laughs> I want those statues back. <laughs> What was it? What did I hear about the the statues? Um, They're cool. They're super cool. I don't remember what the fuck I was watching. It's probably Joe Rogan, but like <laughs> a, a lot of those statues were fucking built of like the shittiest materials ever because it was it was um, it was going on with like the civil rights movement, and they were like, "No, fuck that. We're <laughs> we're putting up a bunch of." Uh, Hastily constructed statues. We're putting of, up a bunch of Confederate fucking soldier statues. Like, of a bunch it, of losers. It was like they're like made of like aluminum and shit. Like they're it's literally the shittiest materials you can get. A lot of them are hollow. And um, when it comes to like taking them down, um, apparently they come down pretty fucking easily. I was gonna say if some regular old fucking douchebags can pull it down with uh, you know some ropes. Here's what I agree. I think I think that shit belongs in a Civil War museum. If anything, just to be like, yeah, at one point some jackass made a statue of this fucking guy. Come on, you're yeah, but it's not like those statues are from the fucking Civil War. Like, no, they, the, yeah, but you know, uh, it's it's just a matter of like, there's a procedure, I guess, and then it's like. Certain groups of people are allowed to do what they want because they just go out and do it. You know, like it's not like they're allowed to. It's still illegal. It's still defacing yeah. public property. But it's like, yeah, you're just tired of like getting sandbagged in the fucking courts. Oh God. Yeah, uh, but keep in mind the same people are like, the same people that are that are saying, oh, those people tearing down the Confederate monuments need to go to jail. They're like, the same people that <laughs> that storm the fucking uh, Capitol. Yeah, but Where I mean, I... they're exp they're exercising the same rights, and it's like hypocritical of like, yeah, one group to. It's super fucking hypocritical, yeah. though. It's like, oh, they. they it's like, no, you're jail. both right. You're both right. The most effective way to enact change is to do go out and do it yourself. You shouldn't fucking tr like the the whole fucking point of the the Constitution was like it's a bunch of assholes that got together in America and were like, yeah, we're just gonna not pay taxes anymore. <laughs> And like, you could just fuck off, England. It's like, yeah. And now you're, like, telling both sides, because we have this two-party system, that, uh, no, no, your side is wrong for doing it, but my side is justified. And it's like, oh, yeah. you both are groups of Wait. people that can enact change, and you're doing it, and you're, you're expressing the most American fundamental I, right. I feel like it's really smart we get political right now, so let's fucking do it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my, you know, we're still my a favorite... fledgling YouTube channel. Let's express <laughs> some harsh... <laughs> one of my favorite Donald political. Trump things was like, I think we need to stop mail-in ballots in some places and continue them in other places. And I'm just like, oh, really, Mr. Trump? And where do you think they should stop the mail-in voting? Specifically democratic cities. <laughs> Specifically places that are not going to vote for me. <laughs> Although I don't believe the 81 million votes. He, dude... I don't. But like he sucks. Biden sucks. Everybody hates Biden. Even Democrats hate Biden. Look, no here's here's how I stand on it. I don't like Biden. I don't like Trump. They both suck, but I'm also not disillusioned that a different candidate in there is gonna make it any better. It's just like you sure I make yeah. You know. it, it's always something. Like there's people that are saying Obama was great, but all I remember during Obama's presidency was people bitching about Obama. <laughs> and then the same thing happened when Trump got in office. And now I've the got same a fuck ton of people saying he's Biden. the greatest. But then all I can remember is people talking shit on him. Really, like yeah. And I'm not, you know, the the I'm not talking about the the vocal crazies on TV. Like yeah, Trump. I saw the Trump rallies. It's, yeah. yeah, it's crazy. It's it. Well, and. To the say he did not have supporters get, is just uh, ignorant. Well, but, <laughs> the people who get amplified on by media on television are the most extreme groups of people. But uh, I, I feel like Biden's another George W. Bush situation where I just love listening to what he has to say because it's so fucking stupid. Yeah, uh, I mean, I think uh, that's why uh, people uh, like Trump. Yeah, the, the little black kids like to play with my leg hair. They love the... <laughs> they, See, I think how you're doing Obama, but it's Biden, this quote. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, uh, oh yeah, you're right. Cause like Biden, I don't have Biden. No, because Biden's Biden's old. Biden kind of he's got ah uh, they ah uh, they love 
I love playing with my leg hair. It's, uh... Have you ever heard Joe Biden speak, Zach? Yeah. This is your worst impression I've ever heard. Because <laughs> I'm not an old man. That's true. You're, you're a spry young buck with a huge eight-inch cock. But that's pretty much... That's pretty much the cadence of his voice. I didn't mean to out you for having a fat cock, dude. I'm so sorry. That's the cadence of his voice. Anyways, where was I going with that? Fuck, I had a point. Uh, your point about was... About getting, like, political and stuff. Well, your point was that uh, <clears throat> you just hear... You were saying that... It, Whenever a person is is in office, you hear about how great they are, but then there's everybody bitching about them all the time as well. Like, it's just how divisive each candidate's been. Yeah. And it's the same thing with every political uh, party. Yeah. No matter no matter who what your affiliation is, it's like, you know, everybody... Like, they're trying well, to fucking impeach they're like, Biden. They're now. like... they're like, It's oh, like, is that just what we're going to do? Like, we're going to vote in, and if it's not the party we like, then we're just going to impeach everybody? Yeah, because I feel like we don't even get a choice in the presidential candidates to to an extent. It's just like, nope, these are your choices. Pick. Yeah, well, that's what fucking George Washington said. He's like, don't go to a two party system. And what? It, well, they were like, okay, we won't, George. <laughs> All right, fuck that guy. No, he, I, he, I had a I had a, <laughs> I had a a decent point that doesn't show I'm completely politically retarded, but I fucking forgot it all. Oh, I don't know any better. Don't listen to me. I, I, no, I, no, I just, uh, I'm it, just a it was skeptic. relevant to the conversation at the time, and now it's just. It's just fucking gone. It's, it's into lost. the ether. You want to stop it? And well, play, 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 no, it's just a little joke to make it more funny to talk about politics. Uh, you know what I'm saying? This guy's here too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my controller sucks. Oh, hey, shit, donate fuck. to our Patreon that we don't have so we can buy a new Xbox 360 controller. Dude, can we buy like a joke website that redirects them to our website? Yeah. What do you want to? What do you want to call it? Like facefullofcum.com. <laughs> what, what if we bought porn.com? How much do you think that domain's worth? Well, like, it's like buttsex.net, or no, it's buttsex.info. Or .info, yeah, and for that's Ninja NSP. Sex Party. Yeah. yeah, that's genius, man. Uh, Is he from Boston? We're in Michigan, and... <laughs> He's like, zip. Yeah, what do you think? <laughs> yep. Left one's a little bigger than the right. You sure yep. are a Williams. Looks just like our chin. <laughs> 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 All right, that was my worst impression ever. <laughs> now, old Corn Pop, he was a bad dude. <laughs> Corn Pop's a bad, bad dude, bad man. I'll take you out back and beat you to death behind the gym like we did those black. I mean, <laughs> the black, the black kids loved my leg hair. <laughs> get... <laughs> I like to it see it in the water. The, the, and the turn sun, the sun, the sun, the sun, the sun turn it blonde and it, and it, it raise up in the in the water and it... they, they pet it down again. So I learned a lot about kids jumping in my lap. <laughs> I learned about cockroaches. <laughs> uh, I love black people. <laughs> black people can be just as talented and smart as white kids. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, but I learned so much work in, uh, in this community at, at the the pool. Yeah. Black people are great. <laughs> I learned a lot about eating babies, hanging out with Hillary Clinton. <laughs> okay. Remember that one? That was like, do you think that's why she lost? <laughs> It's like they didn't have that on Biden. They should have did the same thing. Yeah, he eats children. <laughs> oh, He's oh. associated with with a pizza parlor that uh, rapes and tortures. Okay, Biden. Okay, Mr. Biden. Yeah. And uh, he maybe he wasn't on... He, they should have uh, deleted his emails for him. I mean, that would have fucking... <laughs> got the vote. Rock the vote, guys. Oh, yeah. WikiLeaks. Dude, what if we ever get WikiLeaked? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, well, obviously we're done for. <laughs> as as HW said, they'll drag us out in the streets and lynch us if they find out what we did. Oh, yeah. It's a real quote. Look it up. I just want people to be educated. I, it's fine if you want to vote for corrupt politicians. I encourage it, but... Uh, <laughs> at least understand that you're evil, too. George W. Bush. You're evil by proxy. You know? I need to work on my George W. Bush impression, too. Why? <laughs> It'll be dead soon. 
you know, in case he becomes politically relevant. Well, no, there's people that are alive today that are maybe not old enough to vote. I guess he was at, wasn't out of office until 2008, but there are people alive today who don't know who George Bush is. Don't know the war crimes he committed. All right. That's like a it's dick to that. Too, it's getting too... <laughs> It's getting too real. I'm getting angry. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck George Bush, piece of shit. 9-11. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. I, you know, I Let's just... keep going down this... I just keep, I just keep thinking, road. like... You know, I had, a, I had a pretty decent fucking... I had a, a decent way to keep this lighthearted, and I lost it, so... <laughs> it's because it's too real. It's too, it's too angering. It's like, fucking... <laughs> I get so depressed when I think about politics, and it's just like, it's so, uh, it's almost, it's just ubiquitous, it's everywhere, you can't escape it. Alright, we're gonna have to switch. The black kids love me! Corn Pop. Jerry Curl. Jerry Curl, oh god. Steven. <laughs> Is that their names? Yeah. They're my friends. I learned a lot about leg hair. <laughs> Black people don't have it. <laughs> it's, like I just, I wish I could remember his quotes because he says some shit. He's like, "Yeah, and I'm Buju O'Malley. He came up to me." <laughs> like, <laughs> like, there's no way that there's, there's that no was way. his name, Joe. <laughs> or uh, you know, something like that. I forget. I I said too much. He's like, and then there was all short and sweet. <laughs> Joe. No! No, Joe! <laughs> Somebody get him off the stage! Get him off the stage! <laughs> Alright, hey, there, oh, there, there's my daughter. Hey, hey, come up here! Come, let me, let yeah. me nibble on your finger. <laughs> come, a, come up here, stand with me. It's a family uh, thing. Oh, gosh, I, just, I love her. Come here, I just want to I sniff your hair. <laughs> Smell good. <laughs> I'm gonna pinch these children's nipples. <laughs> Joe, you can't, can't. What the fuck are we doing with our lives, Brandon? Uh, creating a huge rift in the audience. <laughs> uh, uh, and then there's there's car wreck <coughs> gaming. They think they're funny guys. Uh, this is serious shit. They're turning the freaking frogs gay. Turning uh, the frogs good... gay. Turning their viewers gay. <laughs> we don't want to be educated about the blacks. With their with their hot bodies, they, 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 Joe Biden is a lizard man, wearing <laughs> fake human skin, grown in a factory. That's right. You keep drinking your gay bomb tap water, <laughs> and stay out of my game. This is my game. Yeah. I'm gonna save the people. That's what. Uh, Not that's, car wreck gaming. That's what Alex Jones sounds like. They said I was crazy. <laughs> what? We've secretly replaced this deadite's brain with a chainsaw blade. <laughs> but be quiet. Let's see if he notices. A billy can! I thought that was just like a pot, dog. Uh, yeah. I learned a lot about... <laughs> <laughs> oh, cans. man. I feel like... <laughs> I could just laugh about that. This whole fucking... This whole session, dude. Oh yeah. Real talk, you can tell what I've been thinking about. I would, guys. I've been out with COVID. We haven't been recording. Daddy's been sick. Oh my god. <clears throat> but uh, I'm back now. Yeah, and... he took a bunch of ivermectin. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, some IV vitamin C. You know, monoclonal antibodies. He threw the kitchen sink at it. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I will say one thing. Oh, no, that was Joe Rogan's. I'm sorry. Horse Dewormer. Yeah. Works. Joe Horse Dewormer Rogan. Yep. You know what's weird, though, is uh, he got better. Dude, I can't <laughs> fucking... I can't believe people were taking Horse Dewormer. I can. It's been around for like 60 years. You know, the fucking Japanese health prime minister, the prime minister of their health department, whatever, is like, yeah, you know, just to prescribe it. I don't know. <laughs> Like all COVID patients, yeah. And everybody else is like, no, 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 that, that's. We're gonna lose money because the pharmaceutical companies. Jesus. Uh, you know, they're paying us. Fast forward to run. over How those. many 
watch the news channel. How many fucking commercials are pharmaceutical commercials? It's like every other one because they know their fucking their demographic is geriatric. Your dick doesn't work. Take the Alice. <laughs> Sponsored by Pfizer. Yeah, this is true. That's my opinion. This is true. What's my to-do list? Zach? Anyways, we're yeah, gonna be in trouble. Yeah, hey, prescribe the horse dewormer. Fast forward to uh, all the overdoses. Fuck! What happened? I don't know. What an asshole what? prescribed the horse dewormer? There haven't been any overdoses, Zach. Come on, that's misinformation. <laughs> okay, you're right. It's totally safe. I don't know anything. I don't either. But uh, I think it's it's, funny. it's completely safe. Yeah. I mean. I don't take it. It's, it's it, well. That's another argument. These kids in their damn Tide Pods, <laughs> kind of fucking morons, are they? Oh, yeah. Of course they're not for eating. Yeah, that's Get, that. Hey, give me some of that horse dewormer. I like that. Uh, It'll kill COVID. I heard it online with no sources to back it up. I. uh... It kills it in horses, so it'll kill it in me. <laughs> I like, uh... I'm like a really efficient two-legged horse. <laughs> My boss always calls me the workhorse. I'm turning into Alex Jones. Yeah. I'm... I like, um... My wife calls me horse cock. <laughs> and it's I... not just a compliment. <laughs> it's, a, it's a cold, hard fact. I've split that woman open and had to take her to the ER before. Yeah, there's nothing quite like bleeding out uh, from a sex-related injury. I wonder how many, uh, how many, I how many gunshot victims you think I haven't prolapsed? In, in fucking California have to wait outside in the blistering heat because of all those damn sex injuries. All those people putting stuff up their asses. Ugh. Now these, now these gunshot victims in gun control city have to stand outside in the fucking, in the heat. And even in the worst minority, the gunshot sex victims. <laughs> For those with those really uh, weird fetishes. Like, what was that? This was, man was, came in, prolapsed anus. He shoved a shotgun barrel up his ass. <laughs> it's got a hair trigger. <laughs> Why would that prolapse his anus? <laughs> do something to I, his I thought anus. you were going to go, guy came in with a prolapsed anus and a shotgun barrel he took to his penis head. <laughs> <laughs> he said he thought it would fit. <laughs> What am I? What am I doing here? They want me to give this. Guy, what, what is this? Shotgun barrel stuck on his penis head. What am I doing? Hey, I feel bad about taking your father's ring. Do you take this one in return? Why, Mr. Williams, it's a lovely ring. In truth, it's far nicer than my father's. It's Won't ten. A few bottles of my own special brewed moonshine as a token of my thanks. Well, normally I don't drink on the job, but. Oh, what <laughs> yeah. Okay. So now I have. All right. I just missed that earlier. I wonder how much shit I'm missing. I don't know if uh, anybody watching has played this game before. If they're like some, uh, you know, completionist type, and they're like, "You're missing all the key items. You could. You're wasting time. You could have went that way and got the fucking thing before." My favorite part of this playthrough is I have no idea what the story is. Does it matter? I don't think he's it like, hey, baby, you got some nice tits. Of course, I'll, I'll fight deadites with you. Yeah. Let's figure out this shit. Well, yeah, you know, so he's he's got to do something. He's like, I'm gonna groovy all over those <laughs> glasses. <laughs> yeah, I really think they hit a nice balance with how often he says groovy, uh, which is almost never. It's like two times. Like Evil Dead 2, and then like Army of Darkness, maybe once. They get one per, you know? Oh, dude, you know what the crossover we need? Uh, <clears throat> Ash versus Ash Jason versus Ash Freddy. Ash Williams meets <laughs> Scooby Doo. No. <laughs> yeah, dude. It'd be fucking awesome. Yeah, I because then they well maybe if you lean more heavily into like the adult demographic for Scooby Doo and like he was like smoking weed with Shaggy and Scooby, and then like Scooby was like a deadite or something, you know. Oh, well, you know it'd just be good. You mix Mystery Inc. and Evil Dead. There, like oh no, Scoob. He's he's ripping his head off and shoving it up his ass. <laughs> yeah. 
What a great show. What a great idea for a show, Zach. Scoob! He's dismembering me! <laughs> you know what uh, people have trouble with whenever I show them Evil Dead? The mechanics of uh, of how the, the Evil Dead spread. Because they think it's zombies, you know? They think it's like intelligence. Oh, well, what happens? How were they infected? It's like, well, no, that's not it's not the thing. But then the, the show breaks its own rules where it's like they'll bite somebody and then they'll get like that arm will turn evil. And it's like, so is it? Well, they did that in Evil Dead too. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like, but every other time it's like they'll get bit or stabbed. Well, no, I guess in Evil Dead 1 when she gets stabbed in the in the ankle with the pencil. And then it, like that's what infects uh, the first Linda. Yeah, but you could argue there was never any infection. It was just a fucking... Uh, uh, evil spiritual force that can do as it will. And it's never... Well, they do say that demons prey on the spiritually weak, so maybe by damaging the body, you create a weakness in and it, there. And they never said there was just, like, one evil force. No, the, no, the it's, for it's, uh, it's definitely multiple dead The, the force, the... The, like, the Kandarian the, the evil, demon... The evil released from the book can is, is literally do what demon. it wants. Well, so. So, so the main one, the one that's, you know, the... Blah, that's the Kandarian demon, as far as I can tell. Like, that's the, you know, the one driving, like, overarching evil force. At least in the first two movies, and somewhat Army of Darkness. And then all of the other, like, minor demons are just regular dead-eye, like, demon-ass, like, you know, demon spirit, demon entities. Uh, that kind of just show up with the Kandarian demon. At least that's my interpretation of it. And I did not pay attention at all to what that guy was saying. Could be. Or they could all just be Kandarian. It's true. Yeah, it's true. But it, what's also weird is you have Kandarian Demon, and then you also have Kandarian Dagger. And that's that's what... But that's more, you know, Ash yeah, but I think, I think, uh, I think in general, it's all... Uh, it's all, like... It's connected? Or, or what it's do you all, think? like, Sumerian. So, well, yeah, you know, that's the other thing. It's like, but I don't know that I don't know the difference between uh, Sumerian and Kandarian. Well, that, yeah, that's yeah. I think that's what I because so I think the Sumerian found the book, is, found the the book Kand is supposed to be written in Sumerian. Yeah, but that's what I think. I think the Kandarians are are fictional. Is Kand is Kandaria supposed to be in some in I in? I think it's fictional. Uh, oh, it sounds fictional as dude. Fact. It's an alien. Awesome. That tracks. Greatest game ever. That must be the center. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. Sure. Nice. Well, look how we're we're like we're pretty big Evil Dead fans, and we don't, uh... We don't know anything about the story. We yeah. don't know all the nerdy shit about it. Well, I mean, it's... I, d I don't think I'm a fan because of the lore. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, uh... I'm mostly in it for the tree rape. I keep hoping he'll do another... Mine was never, uh... Really, um... A question of... Whether the Kandarian thing was real. I was just trying to connect it with the Sumerian text. Like, what... What, right, no, what that's what I think. Uh, so the point I was trying to make with that, I think, is that, like, they're using the Sumerian culture as, like, a focal point for our... For, you know, to tie it to the real world, and then, like, Kandarian is maybe some fictional uh, thing. Okay, I got some I got some Evil Dead fandom up here. All right. Let's... So the Kandarians are connected to uh, uh, Kandar. The Kandarian demon first appeared in Evil Dead. Okay. Whatever. Uh, none of this is important. Huh. Nice going, Gramps. Hey, you dropped this piece of paper. Wouldn't have pegged him for a big reader. I found one of those earlier. Covered in strange writing. Made my flesh creep. I gave it to the preacher in case he could make sense of it. Smart move. Here, I found this over by the barn. I guess they are saying like the Kandarian demon is like just like one thing. Right, because in Evil Dead 2, that's what they manifest at the end. They're like, you have to bring it into physical form so you can kill it, because then you can suck it back in time, and then. See, they said something about Kandar the Destroyer, but 
Oh, and that's that goes to Ash vs. Evil Dead, where they kind of retcon the original. That's Kendari what it is. Demon. That's what it is because um, I'm I'm trying to fucking find it. It's just not. <laughs> Kind of like a flamethrower, huh? Flamethrower? I like that. Might get me a patent on this little beauty. I filled it with some of my own moonshine to get you started. Damn near broke my heart, but... Thanks, Gramps. I'll be sure and give our friends your warmest regards. Hmm. I'm not getting any answers if it's Sumerian. <laughs> what is it? I'm not getting any answers if it's Sumerian. Oh. But there's Castle Kandar. It says the exact origins are unknown. Uh, it was it was a creation of it's possible it was a creation of the Dark Ones. Yeah. During their time as rulers of the Earth, uh, to seek out victims to become Deadites. Blah blah blah. I guess we'd have to get into uh, origins of the Necronomicon as to why it's written in Sumerian. Well, maybe we can do that. Next time on Carrying Air! Oh shit! Oh shit, Scoob! He's sucking my dick! <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs>